A ghost-like figure slowly appeared at the entrance of the large hall while a pair of indifferent gaze swept over everyone within. After which, those eyes paused on the blue-clothed lady. His expression slightly warmed while his voice continued to contain a gloominess, Xian Lan, why has this happened? The blue-clothed lady was clearly Xian Lan, who had led Xiao Yan's group to the central plains. She appeared to have understood Xiao Yan's meaning when he said these words. Her pretty face dimmed as she softly uttered, I'm sorry. Xiao Yan gradually became a lot calmer after seeing the downcast appearance of Xian Lan. She was not very strong. Moreover, it seemed that the Yi clan was currently not in a very good state. Even if Xian Lan could convince them to aid the little fairy doctor, it was likely that they would not possess the ability to do so. Who are you? You actually dare to randomly barge into my Yi clan. Xian Lan's voice had just sounded when the expression of an old man in the large hall sank. He stood up and angrily cried at Xiao Yin. There were some other elders within the Yi clan beside him. They were also looking at Xiao Yin with similarly furious eyes. Some of the somewhat younger generation possessed a gloating expression in their eyes. Although the Yi clan was currently declining, it was not in a state where anyone could come and provoke them. Moreover, this person was actually a young fellow who was of similar age to them. Xiao Yin glanced at this old man. He was merely a one-star dozo. Moreover, from the looks of the seat he occupied, his position within the Yi clan should be quite high. However, Xiao Yin completely ignored him. The only one in the large hall who was able to catch Xiao Yin's attention was the green clothed old man who was seated on the leader's seat. Looking at the majestic aura that surrounded him, it was likely that this person was a six star dozo. Follow me, lead me to her. Xiao Yin's eyes stared at Xian Lan as he spoke with a cold voice. Xian Lan clenched her silver teeth when she heard this, after which she nodded vigorously. She had led the little fairy doctor and Xiao Yin to the central plains, but did not provide them with protection. Instead, she was powerless to do anything when the little fairy doctor fell into a dangerous situation. You impudent young man! That old man who had cried out furiously earlier had an even angrier expression when he was completely ignored by Xiao Yin. His hand slammed violently onto the surface of the table. One could hear a bang and the hard table was shattered into powder. He immediately waved his sleeves and the chair behind him carried a wild and violent force as it shot toward Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin was completely expressionless. When the wooden chair had entered within a 10 feet radius, one could hear a muffled puff sound. Without any forewarning, it turned into dark black ashes that scattered down. There was surprise on the faces of quite a number of people present when they saw this scene. Clearly, they did not expect this young fellow to possess such skill. So you actually possess some skill. No wonder you dare to act so presumptuously in my Yi clan. However, the old me shall teach you, this younger generation, what it means to respect your elders. That old man narrowed his eyes when he saw the wooden chair being incinerated in a strange manner. He let out a cold laugh. The fury in his eyes soared as his foot stepped on the ground. After which, his body rushed toward Xiao Yin in a lightning-like manner. A wave of strange green flame surged out from his shriveled hands. Fourth Elder, stop. Xian Lan hurriedly cried out. A paleness was revealed on her pretty face when she saw this old man attacking as he pleased. However, that fourth elder completely ignored her voice. His character was a little hot-tempered. The situation that the Yi clan was facing also caused him to be irritated. Now, a young fellow, who had appeared from nowhere, dared to jump over him. How could he not be furious? Big Brother Xiao Yin, leave quickly. Xian Lan hurriedly turned to Xiao Yin and cried out when she saw that the fourth elder did not pause. The Yi clan might not be in a good situation now, but they were still able to produce two to three elite dozongs. If they really wished to capture Xiao Yin, it was likely that he would have difficulty fleeing given his strength. Xiao Yin also ignored Xian Lan's cry. His eyes looked at the old man who was heading over with a heated wind. A chill flashed across his dark black eyes. Right now, his mood was also extremely bad because he was worried about the little fairy doctor's condition. This old fellow had really knocked on to his desire to hurt. Brat, once I have captured you, I will deliver you to your elders and get them to teach you properly. The fourth elder's figure flashed and appeared in front of Xiao Yin while many gazes that were intending to watch a show watched. His fist was clenched tightly and green-colored. Fierce flames appeared after which his fist was ruthlessly swung forward. 
this punch did not possess any fanciful moves. However, its majestic force caused a low, deep sonic boom to appear. The fire fist was swiftly magnified in those dark black eyes. At the same time, Xiao Yan raised his hand gently and slowly spread it apart. The fist from the fourth elder of the Yi clan, that contained a green-colored flame, smashed against Xiao Yan's palm in front of all the eyes within the large hall. However, before any cheers could be emitted, everyone's faces became stiff as they discovered that the skinny, weak-looking, young man did not move at all. Moreover, the cluster of green-colored flames on the fist of the fourth elder seemed to have met something frightening when it made contact with Xiao Yan's palm. It was extinguished in front of numerous stunned eyes. The entire large hall had turned silent at this moment. The members of the Yi clan, who were gloating earlier, looked at each other. Their eyes contained some disbelief. Although the fourth elder was not the strongest in the Yi clan, he was at the very least an elite dozo. Even in the Yi clan, there was hardly anyone who could receive this powerful attack of his. If it is about teaching a lesson, you are really not qualified to do so. Shayan slightly raised his eyes. His gaze was indifferent as he looked at the old man in front of him whose expression had drastically changed. The corner of his mouth was lifted into an icy cold smile. His palm spun a little and abruptly shook. A frightening wild, violent strength surged out of Xiao Yan's arm like a torrent when his hand shook. After which, it was transmitted into the body of the Yi clan's fourth elder. The hidden force that contained the heavenly flame trickily destroyed all of the fourth elder's defenses. His face instantly paled. His body seemed to have suffered a heavy blow as he flew backwards and heavily collided into a large pillar in the hall. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out in front of everyone's shocked eyes. The originally quiet, large hall had become dead silent when they looked at Fourth Elder, who had collapsed after spitting out blood. Even Xian Lan involuntarily covered her small mouth with her hand. Her face was stunned. In the past, she knew that Xiao Yin possessed the ability to fight with an elite dozo. However, at that time, he was unable to merely use a palm to strike an elite dozone until he spat out blood. It has only been less than a year, yet he is already this strong? Xi and Lan's eyes stared at Xiao Yan's indifferent face. A fervent expression appeared in her eyes. It is not without reason that the Yi clan has declined until such a state. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his hands. He glanced at the fourth elder, who had fallen onto the ground, before looking around the hall. After which, he shook his head and turned his eyes to Xian Lan. Let's go. Two furious cries sounded the moment Xiao Yan's voice sounded. Immediately, two old men stood up. These two people were also elite dozongs. Their strengths were a little stronger than the person earlier. Their strengths should be around that of a three-star dozong or so. The two people who had stood up this time around were not as reckless as that fourth elder. Instead, they furiously looked at Xiao Yan. They moved their bodies and blocked the exit. This young friend, this is our Yi clan. Putting aside your barging into this place, you have currently injured an elder of our clan. This matter cannot be justified, right? Although our Yi clan is currently in decline, it will not accept being bullied by others in such a manner. That green cloth, old man in the leader's seat, who had not spoken since Xiao Yan had appeared slowly opened his mouth and spoke in a deep voice at this moment. The faces of everyone present became a little joyful when they saw this green cloth. Old man opened his mouth. Being the pillar of the current Yi clan, he still possessed quite a great reputation within the pill region despite the Yi clan's decline. I am not the first who attacked. Moreover, I still have something to do. Xi and Lan must leave with me now. I currently don't have the time to accompany you in pursuing whatever matter. Xiaoyan's eyes turned to the green cloth. Old man in the leader's seat as he furiously replied. What an arrogant brat. The expressions of the two Yi clan elders, who had blocked Xiao Yan's path, sank when these words sounded. They immediately cried out. The expression of the green cloth, old man was a little ugly. He said, Xi and Lan is a member of my Yi clan. She is not someone whom you can just bring away as you please. First elder, big brother Xiao Yin is the one whom I mentioned before. With his help, the Yi clan will definitely be able to enter the Pill Tower Elder's seat once again. Xi and Lan appeared to be unwilling to see the relationship between the Yi clan and Xiao Yin deteriorate too much as she hurriedly cried out. The green clothed old man was a little startled when he heard Xi and Lan's words. He immediately frowned a little as he looked at Xiao Yin. 
Disappointment appeared on his face. Such a young age, how could he be the savior of the Yi clan as Xian Lan had mentioned? There is no need to say anything more. I have my own opinion regarding this matter. The green-clothed, old man faintly spoke. He immediately looked at Xiao Yin and said, This young friend, if you are really the helper that Xian Lan has invited, please temporarily stay in the Yi clan and allow us to play our role as a host. These words might be put beautifully, but their intention was to hold Xiao Yin back. A cold smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face. His gaze stared at the green clothed old man as he said, I'm not interested in helping your Yi clan. If not for Xi and Lan, I would not even want to come to this place. Moreover, I have something to settle now and do not have time to waste with you. Xi and Lan must leave with me now. A fury surfaced in the eyes of the green clothed old man when he saw that Xiao Yin was not willing to give in. He slowly took a step forward. In that case, allow the old me to try and see if you have the ability and the qualifications to do so. A gloomy expression flashed across Xiao Yan's face when he saw the green clothed old man stand up. Leave quickly. Xi and Lan's expression also changed as she hurriedly turned to Xiao Yin and commanded. The two elders who had blocked Xiao Yan's path of retreat seemed to have heard her words. Do Qi slowly surged from their bodies. A cold smile was present on their faces. If you are really Xi and Lan's friend, Please remain in the Yi clan for a while. We might still be able to have a proper discussion. The green cloth. Old man's eyes stared intently at Xiao Yin while he spoke in a deep voice. Xiao Yin was expressionless. The current him was only concerned about the little fairy doctor's situation. Where would he find the time to bother about whatever Yu clan? Xiao Yin's gaze turned to Xi and Lan as he spoke. After which, he turned around and walked toward the exit of the hall. The two Yi clan's elders, who were blocking the door, were completely ignored by him. This action of Xiao Yin caused Xian Lan to be a little startled. She looked at his back and knew that if she did not follow him herself, it was likely that Xiao Yin would no longer bother about the promise he had given her. A struggle flashed across Xian Lan's face when she thought of this. She suddenly clenched her silver teeth, turned around and followed close behind Xiao Yin. A fury immediately surged into the faces of the two Yi clan elders blocking the exit when they saw Xiao Yan's arrogance. They let out a cold cry, and the both of them attacked in unison. Their hands contained a surging force as they grabbed at Xiao Yan's shoulders in a lightning like manner. Xiao Yan's expression did not change in the face of an attack by two three star dozongs. He flicked his finger, and a silver glow flashed. A silver colored figure immediately appeared. The two elders' sharp eagle claw-like hands rushed over in a lightning-like fashion. After which, they heavily collided with the silver-colored figure. A metallic sound as well as sparks were emitted when both parties made contact. This contact caused the expressions of the two elders to drastically change. Before they could pull back, however, a pair of silver-colored metallic arms penetrated the silver glow while revealing afterimages. They ruthlessly landed on the respective chest of these two with such a fast speed that they could not react. The silver-colored metallic fists did not carry any majestic dochi. However, it unleashed shocking damage when the fists landed on the bodies of the two elders. The both of them flew back like kites with broken strings. Finally, they were forced out of the hall. Two mouthfuls of fresh blood were spat out soon after. The interior of the hall was once again in complete silence as everyone looked at the two elders, who were suddenly sent flying from the large hall. Quite a number of people quietly swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Numerous shocked eyes paused on the silver glow beside Xiao Yan. Following the gradual disappearance of this silver glow, a silver-colored figure was slowly revealed. This is the last time. Next time, I will not show any mercy. Xiao Yan's back faced the people from the Yi clan. His voice contained some ice-cold killing intent. The repeated hindrances had gradually exhausted his patience. The gloomy expression of the green cloth, old man at the leader's seat slowly became solemn. His eyes stared intently at the completely still silver-colored human figure beside Xiao Yin. He sensed a dangerous feeling from its body. Currently, the earth demon puppet had undoubtedly been greatly strengthened after absorbing the pill lightning at the burning flame valley. According to Xiao Yan's guess, it should be able to fight head-on against a seven-star dozo. This first elder of the Yi clan was merely a six-star dozo. It was impossible for him to be a match for the earth demon puppet. The green-clothed, old man's eyes paused on the earth demon puppet for a moment. Finally, he appeared to have discovered something. 
His eyes narrowed while he slowly spoke, looking at Xiao Yin with surprise as he did so. Xiao Yin did not reply. He waved his sleeves and once again stored the Earth Demon Puppet into his storage ring. He demanded, Can I bring Xian Long with me now? The green-clothed, old man tightly frowned. His gaze was focused on Xiao Yin. This mysterious, young man had not only reached the Dozone class at such a young age, but he was also in possession of a puppet with a mind-boggling strength. It seemed that his background was quite impressive. No wonder Xian Lan would always be confident when speaking about him. The old me is Yu Zhong, the first elder of the Yi clan. Is this young friend named Xiao Yin? The gloominess in the green cloth, old man's face was slowly withdrawn as he cupped his hands to Xiao Yin. The strength that Xiao Yin had displayed was sufficient to shake the current Yi clan. Hence, his tone was clearly much more polite than it was earlier. Xiao Yin nodded but did not wish to remain for long. He raised his leg and walked out of the hall. Xi and Lan behind him hesitated for a moment before turning her head to Yu Zhong. She said, First Elder, I will return once Big Brother Xiao Yin settles his issues. Xi and Lan hurriedly followed Xiao Yin after replying to him. Yu Zhong widened his mouth when he saw this situation. However, he could only let out a sigh. He ceased saying anything and allowed the two of them to leave. First Elder, the fourth elder, who had been defeated by Xiao Yin with one palm, climbed to his feet at this moment and looked at Yu Zhong. Yu Zhong waved his hand and sighed, Forget it, let them leave. This Xiao Yin might indeed not be an ordinary person. The Yi clan might really have to rely on him this time around. How can it be? He might be very strong, but this little strength is far from sufficient from allowing our Yi clan to enter the Pill Tower Elder's seat isn't putting our hope on a person whose background we are unfamiliar with a little. That fourth elder hesitated for a moment before speaking. We have no choice. Currently, quite a number of strong factions are setting their sights on our Yi clan. If we do not adopt any measures, it is likely that the Yi clan will really be finished. Yi Zhong shook his head and helplessly uttered. Now, let's hope that this young man called Xiao Yin is really as capable as Xian Lan described. Moreover, it is likely that the matter today has given him a bad impression of our Yi clan. Ugh, this is also a matter that gives me a headache. Xiao Yin grabbed Xian Lan's arm after having led her out of the Yi clan. He flew out of the city. A moment later, he finally stopped on a mountain top outside of the city. You should be aware of the matter regarding the little fairy doctor, right? Xiao Yin immediately asked in a deep voice after having landed on the mountain top. Xian Lan slightly nodded. The back of her teeth bit her lower red lip as she softly said, Back then, little fairy doctor Jie Jie, Zi Yin, and I successfully exited the wormhole. After which, we spent a couple of months to reach the Pill Region. Once we arrived in the Pill Region, an immoral faction called the Yuxian Gate set their eyes on little fairy doctor Jie Jie due to her beauty. In her anger, she killed everyone in that faction. However, Yuxian Gate's chief is also an elite dozo. Although we ended up dying to little fairy doctor Jie Jie's hands, she had also suffered some injuries. Coincidentally, it had resulted in the weakening of the seal and the woeful poison body erupted. Finally, she was discovered by someone. The woeful poison body is a representation of disaster in the pill region because there have been a number of disasters that have been created as a result of the woeful poison body erupting. Therefore, the news of the woeful poison body had just spread when many factions attacked her. The Ice River Valley is the most active one. However, their intention is not to destroy the woeful poison body. Instead, they wish to obtain this special body because the Ice River Valley loves to collect different kinds of unique bodies. After which, they will use a special method to transfer the soul of an expert within the valley into the body. Thus, they will be able to obtain some of the ability in her body. Xiao Yan's expression gradually became dark and solemn when he heard Xian Lan's words. This Ice River Valley was indeed not something good. Sometime earlier, the place the little fairy doctor had been hiding was discovered by the Ice River Valley. After which, she exchanged blows with the other party's experts and suffered a serious injury. Big Brother Xiao Yan. Xian Lan is useless. I cannot even be of any help. Xian Lan's eyes also turned red when she spoke until this point. She had blamed herself over her helplessness. Xiao Yin inhaled a deep breath of air. He waved his hand and said, This is not your fault. You should know where the little fairy doctor is currently at, right? Yes, 
I have received the information that little fairy Dr. Jie, Jie has sent to me. However, that place is currently surrounded by the experts from the Ice River Valley. I am unable to even enter. Xian Law nodded and said, It is indeed that place. Xiao Yin narrowed his eyes and spoke in a low voice. Although little fairy Dr. Jie, Jie has fled the encirclement of the Ice River Valley, she has suffered a serious injury and doesn't dare reveal herself. However, the fallen god stream has already been surrounded by the Ice River Valley. The terrain there might be complicated, but it is only a matter of time before she is found. Xian Lan softly said, Big Brother Xiao Yin, what do you plan to do now? What else can I do? Xiao Yin stood up. His eyes looked to the north as a dense, cold glint flashed across them. Head to the fallen god stream. In that case, I shall lead the way for you. I know how to find little fairy Dr. Jie, Jie once I enter the fallen god stream. Xian Lan clenched her teeth and informed him. Xiaoyan slightly nodded. Immediately, he seemed to have recalled something and asked, That's right, where is Zi Yin? Has she been following beside Little Fairy Doctor? Zi Yin. Xian Lan was startled when she heard this. She immediately let out a bitter laugh. She has been missing not long after we arrived in the Pill region. Missing? Xiaoyan's expression immediately changed. She cannot be described as missing either. She left a message for us saying that she suddenly sensed something and wanted to return home. Xiaoyan tightly knit his brows. Ziyan's identity had always been a mystery. However, Xiaoyan could vaguely guess that her identity was definitely extremely strong. He wondered just where her so-called home was. Ugh, hopefully that girl is fine. Now, we can only wait until the little fairy doctor's problems are settled before finding her. Xiaoyan sighed. He once again grabbed Xian Lan and moved his body, rushing to the northern sky as he did so. He needed to find the little fairy doctor as soon as possible. The Fallen God stream was located in the northern part of the Pill region. The terrain of this place was complicated with the land appearing as though it had been hacked up by a humongous axe, forming numerous crack lines in the process. Each crack was over tens of thousands of feet long. Moreover, these mountain streams were also unfathomably deep. There was a poison fog that permeated it. Countless numbers of lethal poisonous creatures were present. The environment was extremely terrible. It could be considered a dangerous place in the Pill region. Under normal circumstances, there was seldom anyone who would come to this fallen god stream with the exception of those with special requirements. However, due to the matter of the woeful poison lady, this originally desolate fallen god stream had swiftly become lively. The people in the Central Plains had quite a deep memory of the woeful poison body. In the past, some people who had possessed the woeful poison body had appeared. However, all of these people ended up causing a disaster in the Central Plains without exception. Wherever the poison body passed, life would cease to exist. Everything would become silent. These short few phrases already described just how terrifying the woeful poison body was when it erupted. Perhaps the creation of that kind of disaster was not the original intent of those who possessed the woeful poison body. However, when the woeful poison body erupted, it would bite the owner and take control of the body, turning it into a moving poison fog machine. In the face of such potent poison, even some elite dozongs would end up with quite a miserable fate if they inhaled too much of it into their bodies. Back then, each woeful poison body eruption would cause the Central Plains to lose a large number of elite dozos. This had repeated itself a couple of times, causing the terrible reputation of the woeful poison body to be deeply imprinted into the hearts of everyone in the Central Plains. It was also because of the fear of this woeful poison body that many factions acted the moment they heard a woeful poison body had appeared. They wanted to destroy this woeful poison body before it could completely erupt. The Ice River Valley was the strongest among these factions. Although quite a number of people knew that they wanted to obtain the woeful poison body, no one stopped them due to the great strength that they possessed. Moreover, after the little fairy doctor had killed quite a number of people from the Ice River Valley, the grudge between both parties worsened. This Ice River Valley told the outside world that they wanted to kill her. However, if she were to really land in their hands, it was likely that outsiders would have difficulty knowing just what they would do. Nevertheless, this pill region, that had been calm for a long time, had turned into an uproar because of this woeful poison body. Currently, innumerable numbers of people had surged to the fallen God Valley with the intention of finding the woeful poison lady within it. 
Most of these people were attracted by the sky-high price of the Ice River Valley. Of course, there were also some of them who had thoughts of destroying the woeful poison body. Regardless of what kind of thoughts these people had, the current Fallen God Valley had undoubtedly turned into a lively place in the Pill region. The Fallen God stream was not very far from East City. With Cheyenne's speed, he only spent a day or so before reaching this lively area despite bringing Xi and Lon along. Xiaoyin and Xian Lan slowly landed on a towering mountaintop. His gaze looked into the distance. There was a spacious plain covered with rock fragments in front of him. Countless numbers of dark black lines were present in the plains. These cracks were just like savage mouths of demons that had surfaced from beneath the ground, after which they were extended into the distance. This kind of distant black color caused one's heart to feel cold. The plains were filled with some extremely large rock fragments. These enormous rocks were just like a rock mountain. Their bodies were dark in color and some black fog lingered over the sky all year long. This poison fog rose from between the mountain streams had covered the entire sky above the plains after accumulating for many years. Cheyenne slowly withdrew his eyes that he had shot into the distance. He looked at the plains right in front of him. There were densely packed human figures there. Moreover, these human figures were continuously forming groups as they advanced into the fallen god stream. Clearly, they were intending on looking for traces of the little fairy doctor. Is this the fallen god stream? It is indeed dangerous. However, someone with the little fairy doctor's special constitution is like a fish finding water in this place. Shayan withdrew his gaze, nodded, and judged the situation. Xi and Lon also nodded. She immediately said, Big Brother Xiao Yin, the sky of the Fallen God stream is covered with poison fog. Therefore, we cannot fly in. We can only enter from the Fallen God stream below. It is the only path into the Fallen God stream. However, there are experts from the Ice River Valley guarding at that spot. They are continuously observing the activity within the Fallen God stream. Xiao Yin inclined his chin. He asked, What kind of strength do the experts dispatched by the Ice River Valley possess? Based on the information that I have obtained, the ones leading the search this time around are two elders from the Ice River Valley, Bing Yuan and Bing Fu. They were the ones who had exchanged blows with little fairy Dr. Jie Jie. However, I think that there should be other experts besides the two of them. I guess that there are at least four elite Dozongs. Xi and Lan mused for a moment before saying, For Dozongs, huh? Xiaoyan nodded. It seemed that the Ice River Valley did not deploy an ultimate Dozong class expert. However, it made sense if he thought about it. With the current strength of the little fairy doctor, these Ice River Valley's elders were sufficient to capture her. Can you find the location of the little fairy doctor after we enter the Fallen God stream? Cheyenne asked. Yes. Xian Lan nodded. Cheyenne sighed in relief when he heard this. He said, in that case, let's enter the Fallen God stream and find the little fairy doctor first. Shayan extended his hand and grabbed Xian Lan's waist after saying these words. His body moved and rushed down from the mountaintop. Within a couple of flashes, he landed outside of the Fallen God Stream. The entrance to the Fallen God Stream was between two towering black-colored rocks that seemed to reach to the sky. There was a path that was a couple of hundred feet wide at that spot. However, there was currently quite a number of white-clothed figure currently present around this entrance. Clearly. They should be people belonging to the Ice River Valley. Xiao Yan landed on the ground and released Xian Lan. After which, he walked to the entrance. Xian Lan hurriedly followed behind him. There were nearly a hundred Ice River Valley disciples guarding the two enormous rocks of the entrance. Numerous sharp eagle like eyes repeatedly swept over the groups of people in the road below. Their leader was a white clothed, old man seated with his legs crossed. A cold air continuously radiated out of his body causing the nearby temperature to drop. This white-clothed, old man had his eyes shut from the beginning. However, when Xiao Yan's group entered, he seemed to have sensed something and opened his eyes. There was surprise in his eyes when he looked at Xiao Yan below. Although quite a number of people had been attracted over to this place because of the issue of the woeful poison lady, there were not many truly strong people among them. After all, the sky-high reward of the Ice River Valley did was not tempting to such an expert. Moreover, from the looks of the Ice River Valley lineup, it was clear that they fully intended on obtaining the woeful poison lady. Therefore, they did not intend to fight with this Ice River Valley. After all, it was not something good.
It was due to this that caused that person to be a little surprised upon seeing Xiao Yan. He had seen quite a number of people during this period of time, but he had not seen many elite dozongs. Although he felt surprised, he did not open his mouth to ask anything. He merely withdrew his eyes after a glance. A one-star dozong would not be able to stir many waves even if he harbored ill intent. It has been some time since Bing Yuan and the others entered the fallen god stream and engaged in the search. I wonder if they have found that woeful poison lady. Xiao Yin and Xian Lan walked into the fallen god stream without any obstruction in front of the eyes of the many people from the Ice River Valley. They only came to a stop after they reached an isolated area. Where should we head to? Xiao Yin glanced at his surroundings. The poison fog in this place was not very dense, but it did affect his visibility. Moreover, the countless numbers of dark black mountain crevices would cause one to feel giddy. The difficulty of finding someone in such a complicated environment was quite large. Xian Lan carefully looked around her. After which, she took out a jade bottle from her storage ring. She opened it, and a small, dark black thing fled from it. This thing appeared somewhat similar to a mouse, but its back had a pair of thin wings. A buzzing sound appeared when they were flapped. This is a poison-seeking mouse. However, it has already been dead for a long time. After the little fairy doctor special refinement, it is able to lead us to her. Xian Lan released the small black mouse. It made a circle in the air before it suddenly flew quickly toward the western area of the fallen god stream. Xian Lan hurriedly said after seeing this. After which, Xiao Yin swiftly grabbed her waist. His body moved, transforming into a black figure that easily followed behind the small, black mouse. Poison objects filled the interior of the fallen god stream. However, Xiao Yin did not face the slightest obstruction. He came to a sudden understanding of the strange scene after some uncertainty. It was likely due to the heavenly flame within his body. This kind of extremely hot object restrained dark, cold poison substances. With Xiao Yin's speed and the fact that they were not obstructed in any way, the two of them gradually entered deep into the fallen god stream after a short half an hour. At this moment, the poison fog around them had become much denser. Fortunately, they had the heavenly flame isolating them. Xiao Yin and Xian Lan did not suffer from the corrosive force as a result. Their full speed advancement continued a while before the small, black mouse in front of them suddenly came to a stop. Xiao Yin also sensed this abruptly from behind. He grabbed the mouse, hugged Xian Lan, and fled to the back of an enormous stone. A thousand foot large mountain stream appeared in front of Xiao Yin and Xian Lan. A poison fog lingered over the mountain stream. However, there were over a dozen white-colored figures standing around this mountain stream at the moment. One of the white figures remained suspended in the air. All of them were facing the wall of the mountain stream where a cave stood. Woeful Poison Lady obediently returned to the Ice River Valley with the old me. You might still have a chance to live if you do so. Xiaoyan's expression changed. His eyes followed the voice of the old man and looked to the cave. His eyes suddenly shrank. He could see a white-colored figure at standing elegantly at that spot. Her grayish-purple eyes were filled with cold killing intent. The Little Fairy Doctor Xiaoyan's tightened heart gradually relaxed as he looked at the white-colored figure in the cave. It's good that she's all right. Xiaoyan muttered softly to himself within his heart. His eyes swiftly landed on the old man in the air above the mountain stream. The old man's head was full of white hair. His clothes were white with some snowflower-like lines over them. His entire being emitted a chillness from the inside out. Xiaoyan's eyes paused on that old man. His eyes narrowed, six-star dozo. Xiaoyan mused for a moment before turning his gaze away. At this moment, there were dozens of white-clothed figures standing around the mountain stream. Clearly, they were the disciples from the Ice River Valley. His gaze took one look around before they finally paused on a huge protruding rock on the edge of the mountain stream. There were two white-clothed old men standing with their hands behind them at that spot. One of them possessed a strength similar to the person in the air, who had reached the six-star doe zone level. The one behind might be inferior to these two, but his strength had reached that of a two-star doe zone. There are three elite doe zones. Moreover, there are dozens of elite Ice River Valley disciples. This Ice River Valley is really willing to take out this much strength. Xiaoyan softly muttered to himself while a chill flashed across his dark black eyes. Big Brother Xiaoyan, those two are the elders of the Ice River Valley, Bing Yuan and Bing Fu. 
They are both very strong. Be careful. Xi and Lan's eyes also swept around the place once. After which, her expression became tense as she spoke. Xiyan slightly nodded. This lineup might be quite great, but it did not threaten the current M. The Earth Demon Puppet was able to block a six-star Doe Zone at this moment. Moreover, he was in possession of the Skyfire Three Mysterious Flame and Tian Huazunja in his ring. Woeful Poison Lady, you will not be able to escape. You have been struck with the Ice Soon Force. Unless you have an antidote from my Ice River Valley, the remnant mysterious Ice Chi in your body will freeze all of your life force within a month's time. The old man in the air glanced indifferently at the little fairy doctor in the cave before speaking. Following me back to the Ice River Valley is your only chance of survival. The little fairy doctor's grayish-purple eyes, which were void of emotion, glanced at the old man from the entrance of the cave. A ridicule surfaced on her pale face as a cool voice resounded over the mountain stream with a chill within it. Before my life force is frozen, I will destroy this body of mine and will not leave anything for your Ice River Valley. A cold glint immediately flashed across the eyes of the old man in the air when he heard these words. He slowly said, You are the one who has cut off your only chance of survival. He did not delay any longer after saying these words. A chilling aura gradually surged from his body. Since you don't like to take a path that allows you to live, the old me shall personally capture you and bring you back to the Ice River Valley. The space in front of the old man became distorted after his final words sounded. Immediately a chilling aura lingered and densely packed ice pricks surfaced in the air. The old man waved his sleeves gently. Countless numbers of ice pricks in front of him shook as they rushed out from all directions with a swoosh sound. The densely packed surroundings enveloped a radius of a hundred feet around the mountain stream. The little fairy doctor frowned as she looked at the ice pricks that cut through the air and rushed over. Currently, she was seriously injured and was definitely no match for Bing Yuan. Moreover, there were two other elite doe zones around the mountain stream. If she were to attack, it was likely that she would really not have the opportunity to flee this time around. Even if I die, I must definitely not land in their hands. A dense, grayish-purple doe chi surged out of the little fairy doctor's body, after which it covered the entrance of the cave. The ice pricks were swiftly eroded when they shot over. However, the energy barrier that was formed from the grayish-purple doe chi swiftly paled under the continuous attack of the ice pricks. The remaining ice pricks shot against the mountain walls surrounding the cave. Layer after layer of thick ice began to spread out with a cracking sound. Under this chilly air even the surrounding poison fog had become much thinner. The little fairy doctor's expression changed slightly as she sensed the swiftly surging chilly air around. This chilly air was extremely strange. If it managed to enter one's body, it would be extremely troublesome to deal with. Back then, she had accidentally allowed this chilly air to enter her body, causing her do chi to slow signs of sluggishness. It was due to this that the so-called Ice Zoon Force from Bing Yuan and Bing Fu managed to seriously injure and force her back. I cannot stay in this place too long. The little fairy doctor became decisive when this thought flashed through her heart. Her body transformed into a lightning flash and shot out of the cave. She headed to the deep regions of the mountain stream. Ice ceiling formation. The little fairy doctor had just charged out of the cave when dozens of cold cries sounded simultaneously. Immediately, cold air surged into the sky. One could see that the space within the mountain stream suddenly stilled, after which it formed a thick, hard ice with a cracking sound. In the blink of an eye, it formed a hundreds-foot-large ice cabinet in this mountain stream. The little fairy doctor and Bing Yuan were sealed within it. The people inside could no longer see the outside, but those outside were able to see every action of those inside. You still wish to flee? A cold smile involuntarily surfaced on Bing Yuan's face when he saw her. His body moved and appeared behind the little fairy doctor in the blink of an eye. Cold air lingered over his fist before he viciously threw it out. The little fairy doctor instantly turned around when she sensed the shocking cold air that had appeared behind her. Grayish purple though she swiftly rose on her hand before she swung it out. The fist and palm made contact, bringing about a shock wave that formed a ring and swept around them. Bing Yuan hurriedly took two steps back under the recoil of this airwave. The little fairy doctor, on the other hand, was sent flying backwards. Currently, she was suffering from serious injuries and her fighting strength was greatly reduced. It was impossible for her to be a match for a six-star dozo.
The little fairy doctor stabilized her body. Her originally pale expression involuntarily became paler. A bitterness appeared on her face as her gaze swept over the airtight ice wall around her. It seemed that she really had nowhere to flee to today. Follow the old me back to Ice River Valley and you will still be able to live. If you continue being stubborn, do not blame the old me for being vicious. Bing Yuan's feet stepped on the empty air and slowly walked toward the little fairy doctor. His tone still remained indifferent. A coldness gradually rose in the little fairy doctor's grayish-purple eyes as she looked at Bing Yuan slowly walking over. Her hands swiftly formed a strange seal. At this point, she could only undo the seal of the woeful poison body. Although this would greatly bring forward the time when the poison body would erupt, it was at least better than landing in the hands of this old fellow now. Bing Yuan was also aware that the little fairy doctor was about to risk her life and go all out when he saw the seal formed by her hands. His expression also sank a little. After which, his body shot forth in a lightning-like fashion. A shocking cold air was rotating quickly around his palm. Bing Yuan's speed was extremely quick. In the blink of an eye, he had caught up with little fairy doctor, who was swiftly pulling back. A dense chillness covered his indifferent face. His hand, which was covered by cold air, carried a bone-piercing force as it transformed into numerous afterimages that filled the space around the little fairy doctor. A low, deep sonic boom was formed amid this fierce palm wind. The chilly air was extremely dense. Even the air had formed wave after wave of faint white fog that rose up. The little fairy doctor's lovely body was just like a small boat amid a wild storm. It swayed in all directions. Her dodging appeared quite dangerous. She would have been struck violently if she was even the least bit closer. Although the little fairy doctor had barely managed to dodge that torrent-like attack of Bing Yuan, her intention of undoing the seal was also interrupted. The treacherous situation continued and she was in an extremely risky position. Another cold wind struck out, and the little fairy doctor, who had nowhere to flee, could only once again raise her palm and collide head-on with Bing Yuan. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out and the little fairy doctor's lovely body was sent flying backwards. Bing Yuan's expression was cold and indifferent. A chilly air was spat out of her mouth and froze the fresh crimson blood just as it was about to reach the ground. Your woeful poison body has yet to truly reach its peak. Otherwise, just the old me would not be able to do anything against you. Unfortunately, Bing Yuan looked at the little fairy doctor, who was wiping away the trace of blood from the corner of her mouth. He let out a faint smile, but the chillness in his eyes was not reduced as a result. Bing Yuan had already lost his patience to speak. His body flashed, and he once again rushed toward the little fairy doctor. This time around, some killing intent had gradually surged in his eyes. As long as the woeful poison body was still preserved, it did not matter whether the little fairy doctor lived. The little fairy doctor appeared to be aware that a killing intent had rose in Bing Yuan's heart when she saw the savage smile that had surfaced on his face. Immediately, she hurriedly maneuvered the little remaining Do Chi within her body in preparation for the last struggle. When little fairy doctor had just made up her mind, the enormous ice walls around her suddenly emitted a cracking sound. Immediately, numerous cracks spread out. The ice wall eventually burst apart with a boom sound. The ice walls blasting apart also surprised Bing Yuan. Before he could recover, the rushing sound of wind was suddenly transmitted from above the mountain stream. A figure violently shot toward him. This sudden attack did not cause Bing Yuan to panic. A few waves of ice cold Do Chi surged out of his hand, after which it collided with the figure that had shot over. However, the noise that was created was wave after wave of sharp, miserable cries. Bing Yuan focused his eyes and his expression turned dark and solemn. He discovered that the ones being thrown over like weapons were the disciples of the Ice River Valley. Brat, for daring to intervene in this big matter of our Ice River Valley, I will definitely chase you until the ends of Earth. A couple of furious roars were transmitted from the mountain stream during the time that Bing Yuan's expression turned gloomy. His eyes twitched as he suddenly raised his head, only to discover that a young man was standing with a smile on the edge of the mountain stream. There were still two Ice River Valley disciples in his hands. Clearly, he was the one who had shot these people forward. The people from the Ice River Valley are indeed shameless. So many of you are attacking an injured, weak lady. Not only did you throw aside your face, but you also threw away the flesh beneath it. The young man laughed. 
After which, his eyes slid in another direction. The white-clothed lady at that spot revealed a pale, pretty face that was filled with disbelief due to his sudden appearance. Xiao Yin looked at the face that was so heartbreakingly pale. A gentleness surfaced in his eyes as his soft, warm voice slowly drifted down. Sorry, I've arrived late. 